So you're sitting in your room streaming something online, uh, the new season of House of Cars, Apple Keynote, uh, maybe some South Park live streams that for some reason YouTube seems to just be ignoring at the moment. And then this happens. So if you're like me at least, you look at the network and realize that uh, a ton of people are using your network and uh, so you decide to kick them and then you realize you don't really know how, so you Google it, and then you find this, the official Google product forum where the official reply from Google Wi-Fi, or well, at least the OnHub team is, yeah, you, you can't do that. Just for the record, if you're using like a Netgear router or a more traditional router, usually it's pretty easy to just go to a link, sign in, and kick any device from your network. Um, and also, there are a plenty of apps that will, you know, do this for you. Uh, if you're on a PC, there's like a million and a half app, but if you're on Mac, there's a few really good ones. This is one of the better ones, and it's also free. It's called Jam Wi-Fi, and you can see we have kind of a list of the devices, and we can deauthorize them or jam the network or whatever. I don't actually know a ton about how it works. Also, if you're wondering, this app is also available on iOS, but I wouldn't recommend it because it turns out that not only is this process kind of ridiculous and complicated, but it's also totally not necessary. And so while I guess that Google or OnHub, whoever left the message was, I guess, technically right to say that there isn't actually a button to just kick someone, there's a super, super similar feature that's gonna do literally the exact same thing. Uh, we'll actually have to hop over to our phone to do it and uh, we'll download the Google Wi-Fi app. Now, this is the same app you're gonna use whether you're using a Google Wi-Fi router or an OnHub router and the process is identical. They both use the same app, same everything. You probably already have it because it's basically the only way to do the initial setup with both the routers. Um, so just open up the app and uh, you'll notice that you'll instantly kind of get a view of your network and you can see how many devices are connected. Also, you know, just free tip here, you don't actually have to even be connected to your Wi-Fi network to use this app. So you can kick people from your Wi-Fi or, you know, just do any kind of management stuff you'd want to while you're sitting somewhere completely different using data. But if we go ahead and hop over to this third tab, you'll notice that we get some more advanced options. Uh, we'll ignore all of this and just look at the bottom and there's a feature called family Wi-Fi. If we jump in here, we're going to be asked to create a new group. I guess the idea is that you would create groups that hold like all of your kids devices and then you could control their access to the internet when they're supposed to be sleeping or doing homework or something. Uh, but I'm going to be using it just for something totally different. So what I've done is I've created a group that basically holds all of the high usage devices in the house. And every time I'm uploading a video or something or just, you know, someone's trying to watch a uh, TV or something and someone's got an Xbox running, you know, downloading some game. Uh, it's really easy to just kick them for a little while and do whatever you want to do. So if you have an Xbox, PlayStation, uh, even like an Apple TV or a Roku, uh, these are the kind of devices that are notorious for just sucking up tons and tons of internet and kind of <laughs> killing the network. Um, so what I do is I just throw all of these into one group uh, and then I'm going to click go. And once we make the group, if we just come in here and push pause, we're done. That's it. Um, none of these devices are going to be able to pull data until you say they can. Now, they're still going to be connected to the network, and they'll, it'll still show as, oh, you're connected to whatever Wi-Fi network, but they're not going to be able to get at the internet. Um, so if you have, like, some kind of intranet, it's not going to mess with that. You do have the option to put a time limit on this, or you can just click pause and never touch it again, and that'll block devices from using the internet for forever. I usually just pause and then unpause at some point. So that's what I would recommend. One more quick tip before we leave. If you're using the pause feature the same way that I am, uh, there's another feature that you may want to look at. Uh, if we hop out here and just look at the devices, uh, we have the option to prioritize one device uh, for one hour, two hours, four hours. Uh, and this is going to do pretty much a, a very similar thing. It's going to let whatever device you prioritize use the internet before everyone else but it's not going to, you know, kick anyone off of the network. Uh, it's just going to throttle them, I guess. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.